now describe to you what virtual reality therapy can do for your health. What is the purpose of virtual reality therapy? It can be used for the treatment of post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, or certain different types of phobias. How does the system help people? It recreates virtual places or events that cause the patients to stress or uncomfort. The patient is then slowly exposed to the situation and gradually they learn to overcome their fears. This is why it's very good when having to deal with phobias such as spider phobia. It gets the user to overcome their fears slowly and also why it's so good to be used with PTSD because it slowly has the user slowly get back into the traumatic event that they had witnessed. Examples of virtual reality therapy. And this is the treatment of PTSD in Iraq war veterans. And it was developed by the University of Southern California. The system can recreate any situation soldiers may have encountered in combat, such as roadside bombs, ambushes, friendly casualties, enemy fighters, and anything that the individual may have experienced over in Iraq. PTSD treatment. Patient has a psychologist overseeing all treatment, and what happens is a headset is used to completely immerse the patient in a heightened reality, and it creates a 3D environment around the user and has realistic sound effects to recreate the event. Another example of a use that virtual reality was used for is in a situation called London Underground. And basically London Underground can be used to cure different paranoias and claustrophobia. However, London Underground has never really been tried outside of a controlled laboratory condition, so it hasn't been tried on real people to see if it can actually help other people overcome certain claustrophobia or other paranoia disorders. But in laboratory, they've had really good results about what this situation of virtual reality can do. And it has been confirmed as an acceptable way to treat people with different mental states. How the virtual London Underground is set up is basically is modeled after the interior of the London Underground train carriage and it has 20 avatars in it which are computer generated characters. They're different um, ethnicities, some are male and some are female but they all are designed to exhibit neutral behavior which the reason why it's neutral behavior is because they want the user to feel comfortable in their situation so they don't want the avatars to be angry or anything else than just neutral, which is in general what you would see on board of a underground carriage. And the user is on the train, but they're only on it for two stops, which equals about four minutes. So the whole London underground virtual reality experience is only for about four minutes long. How the user interacts with the virtual London Underground. And basically it is displayed on an immersion projection system, also known as a cave. And the cave has three walls all around you and a floor. And the user has to wear crystal eye LCD shutter glasses. And this is basically so the user sees a stereo view of the world. So basically like their whole view is being wrapped around them, their whole line of vision more on the London Underground. The user can move through their virtual environment inside the London Underground train system by walking and also by their body motion and also by their joystick which they are holding in their hand. And then here is my bibliography. I used a website and then I also used informational technology and a global society for the IB diploma by Stuart Gray, which was very helpful.